the glass in the scarab of Tutankhamun's breastplate formed when a meteorite struck the Earth 29 million years ago. But this theory has one enormous hole in it. Or rather, it doesn't. A meteorite with enough energy to turn sand into glass would have left an impact crater of about 20 miles in diameter. The problem is, nobody can find the crater. Unfortunately, you probably couldn't pick a worse place to look. A desert system is dynamic. It constantly keeps retracing itself. You imagine walking up a sand dune and coming back two days later, the wind will have erased your footprints. Could that be what happened to the crater? It's quite possible that the structures there beneath the Saharan Desert Sand Sea but we haven't found it yet. The ancient Egyptians may not have grasped the astonishing extraterrestrial origins of the scarab, but they clearly knew they had something very, very special. While it's fair to say that the ancient Egyptians probably didn't know where this glass had come from, what they did recognize was the fact that it was rare, it was particularly beautiful, I mean, really flawless and therefore really only fit for a king. This perfect piece of glass, created by a meteorite, is literally out of this world.